both mad. Oh, cheers. Mmm. Oh. Tonight, breaking news, shark attack horror. A teen killed by a monster predator in northern New South Wales. His friends and family tried desperately to save him. The Victorian Premier tells Melbourne no suburb is safe as the state reaches a coronavirus crisis point. Moving pictures, Olympic champion Alex Pullen farewelled on the Gold Coast. And free childcare ends just days away from a hard deadline. Families cut off. See what it means for you. This is 7 News with Angela Cox. We begin with breaking news. A 17-year-old boy has been killed, mauled to death by a shark on the New South Wales north coast. It happened at Woolai Beach, north of Coffs Harbour. It's understood the boy suffered horrific injuries to both legs. Witnesses used a tourniquet to try to stop the bleeding. Tragically, he died before a rescue helicopter could get to him. We'll have more on this story in 7 News at 6. No suburb is safe from infection. That's the message from Victorian health officials today, with the Premier confirming they're now battling a staggering 100 separate outbreaks all at once. Blake Johnson has more live from Melbourne. Blake, the state has reached a critical point in this virus fight. And we have reported another death today, a man in his 90s. That takes the number of Victorians killed by coronavirus to 23. And some more shocking numbers on the case front today. 216 is today's tally, which means we are now dealing with more than 1,200 active cases. And these are linked to more than 100 outbreaks. We've quiet. The cold, wet weather today doing its part to encourage people in Melbourne to stay home. We did, and we have. Um, we've indicated consistently that uh, things would most likely get worse before they got better. We will see more and more additional cases. Uh, that's the nature of these things. Steps we've taken this week as a Victorian community won't be reflected in the numbers till next week and the week after. That's just the nature of how this virus moves. And Blake, the state's chief health officer has also clarified the guidelines for wearing face masks today. Brett Sutton has released an instructional video on how to best wear masks and what material you should pick if you're going to make your own. He recommends using masks made of three breathable layers to ensure adequate protection. Victorians are now being told to wear masks in public when social distancing is going to be difficult. So places like supermarkets and on public transport. And OK, thank you, Blake. Further north, a COVID cluster linked to a Western Sydney pub is growing. Three new cases have been confirmed and it's likely more will be discovered as hundreds of patrons queued for hours today to get tested. Miley Hogan reports. Good afternoon. Five cases of coronavirus can now be linked to the Crossroads Hotel in Kushula. Two cases were reported on earlier, a man in his 50s and a woman in her 30s who visited the pub on Friday last week. But it has now emerged that three people who live with the man in his 50s have now tested positive for coronavirus. To stop the spread getting further out of control, the community are being asked to come forward for testing. Anyone who was at the pub on that Friday, July 3rd, has been told to self-isolate, monitor symptoms and get a test. Watching the crowds here today, the community has listened. A pop-up clinic is set up in the car park outside the hotel. Cars right around the minimum three-hour wait just to get to the front of the queue. Last night I lined up with that and I got to that way and they closed the testing I came back in the morning. So another two hours today, but better to be safe than sorry. Today, um, Four hours. New South Wales Health is warning people to take the risk of community transmission seriously, saying that we are at a critical point at containing the virus. Anyone with mild symptoms is being asked to come forward. A life-saving drug has just been approved to treat COVID-19 in Australia. The TGA gave the medication Remdesivir the tick of approval today. It makes it the only drug approved for the treatment of sick of coronavirus. It's in critically However, there's a problem. So, 
impossible to find because the US bought up the entire global supply months ago. A female teacher accused of sexually assaulting a Sydney schoolboy has been refused bail in court today. Monica Young is facing multiple child abuse charges and lost her bid to keep her identity secret. Cameron Price reports. And a teacher accused of sexually assaulting a 14-year-old student will remain behind bars after her bail was formally refused here at Parramatta Court. Lawyers for Monica Young indicating during today's proceedings she plans on fighting the 10 charges levelled against her, but today unsuccessfully applied to have the 23-year-old's name kept secret. I respect the uh, by her honour today. Police arrested Young yesterday morning at her Greenacre home. Officers executing a search warrant and seizing a car along with electronic equipment. Her fiancé today at court but turned away due to COVID restrictions in place. Ms Young is expected to apply for bail when she faces court again next week. Ange. A truck driver allegedly responsible for a horrific crash near Sydney which left a little girl dead has been refused bail. Four others were seriously injured when the B-double ploughed through a rest stop near Menangle yesterday. Paramedics rushed to the scene but couldn't save the eight-year-old girl. She died on the side of the highway. The 44-year-old man behind the wheel has been charged with nine serious offences. His licence has also been suspended. The family of an Adelaide woman, missing for almost three years, is expected to fly into the country despite the pandemic. They'll face the grim task of trying to identify remains police believe belong to the grandmother. Tim Hatfield reports. It's the breakthrough Anna Jenkins' family had been waiting for, but it couldn't have come at a worse time, with COVID restrictions hindering their chance to leave immediately for Penang. But now, after tough negotiations with Australian and Malaysian authorities, her son has been granted a special exemption to travel. And 7 News has obtained videos showing local police at the construction site where human remains were found alongside items belonging to Mrs Jenkins. These items are believed to be related to a missing persons report involving an Australian. The 65-year-old grandmother had only been in Penang for a week visiting family when she disappeared. She was last seen getting out of a taxi not far from where the remains have been found. Her children say it's been an agonising wait for answers, but they're pleased to see police are finally stepping up their investigation. We're still waiting for information to be received formally through DFAT. Right now we're only relying on news reports and media reports coming out of Malaysia for any type of progress. Her son will provide a DNA sample in the hope it will help lead to a positive ID on the bones. We've been told if DNA matches the, the remains that they will um, dig up the site to investigate it further. And we believe it is mum. This is worst case scenario for us. Her family is hopeful the trip will finally bring them some closure. Olympic champion Alex Pullen has been remembered at a moving ceremony on the Gold Coast. Hundreds of mourners took to the waves, paddling out to pay tribute to the 32-year-old who died while spearfishing this week. Crystal Etherington was at the ceremony. There were emotional scenes on the Gold Coast this morning as hundreds of mourners gathered to honour the life of Olympic snowboarding champion Alex Chumpy Pullen. As the sun rose around 6.30am, hundreds paddled out off Palm Beach, the place his life was cut short. It's very emotional. It's um, going to be a very big week. Friends, family, pro surfers and strangers formed a circle on their boards to pause and pay tribute. The Winter Olympian drowned while diving and spearfishing at the artificial reef on Wednesday. He's such a good guy and um, yeah, one a million bloke that just always uplifting. He was the most generous, genuine, caring human and look what happened this morning. Everyone turned out to pay their respects. He's the man. Alex Pullen's father and girlfriend were comforted by loved ones as they returned to the shoreline. More flowers, handwritten letters and photos were laid on the sand to pay tribute to the 32-year-old. His spirit's going to live on forever. He was one of the best humans going around, admired by so many people. A second paddle out has been planned at Sydney's North Narrabeen Beach tomorrow morning to remember Chumpy. 
Still to come in 7 News, a savage attack on a cancer patient why a thug allegedly tore out an IV line in a fit of rage. Plus, Donald Trump on the campaign trail. He's been forced to cancel a rally, but not because of the virus. And bombshell, new evidence revealed in the battle between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. See what the actor said he wanted to do to Tesla billionaire Elon Musk next. Big Brother's unmissable final two weeks. There's just six of you left. Start on a new night, Monday. It can change like that. Big Brother has saved his most epic twist for last. Welcome to the White Room. Big Brother, Monday 7.30 on 7. Macca's new cheesy burgers are your favourites, only cheesier. A golden mozzarella patty with 100% Aussie beef or chicken. And mozzarella sticks are back. Macca's new cheesy range, only for a limited time. At Harvey Norman, get 60 months interest free and receive a bonus gift card up to the value of $500. The more you spend on 60 months interest free, the greater the value of the bonus gift card. Shop for laptops, cameras, TVs, fridges, ovens, lounges, beds, flooring and so much more. Shop in our spacious stores or online. We're practicing social distancing to keep our community safe. Get 60 months interest free and receive a bonus gift card valued at up to $500. Now at Harvey Norman. Right now, most Australians are using their home internet in more ways than ever, and in more places than ever. Wi-Fi signals get weaker the further you are from your modem. So if you find yourself needing internet in the far corners of your home, you might benefit from a Wi-Fi extender to boost your signal and improve your experience. For more home internet help, visit nbn.com.au forward slash optimise. Time for a little break? Head to Macca's and get four of your favourite classic burgers in our new McBurger box for just $16.95. Or warm up with our range of hot and tasty pies for just $1.50 each. Almost anyone who wants to make a difference in a child's life can become a foster carer. So UBU is about embracing everyone's differences. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from. Many people rule themselves out thinking that they can't be foster carers, but... All it takes is, you know, the passion and drive to make a difference in the lives of children. Choose UBU and start your journey into foster caring. An 18-year-old man accused of ripping out a cancer patient's IV tube during an unprovoked attack at a Sydney hospital has been charged with grievous bodily harm and refused bail in court today. Police say the young assailant snapped when the 35-year-old wouldn't give him a cigarette, pushing him to the ground and repeatedly kicking him in the stomach before fleeing the scene. President Trump has hit the campaign trail in Florida, a must-win state if he's to be re-elected in November. Crowds were large and masks almost non-existent. And as health officials struggle, the fight against the virus is becoming increasingly political at the expense of public health. Amelia Brace reports. The coronavirus crisis here in the United States is continuing to worsen with record new case numbers in some of the country's most populous states, two reporting their largest single day death toll since the pandemic began, Texas and Florida. Despite that, the president campaigned in the Sunshine State today. For the COVID came to us, the flu, the virus, the China virus, whatever you'd like to call it, it's got many different names. But before it hit, we were doing really well. Even though it's now the epicentre of the crisis, Florida is moving ahead with a phased return to business. Disney World will reopen tomorrow, but it will be a small world with limited attractions and tickets. I won't lie, it was a little strange, I mean, because you're so used to seeing all the cast members and their smiles and everything. Nearby NBA stars are now living inside a bubble ahead of the season relaunch later this month. If we had any sort of significant spread at all within our campus, we would be shut down again. Donald Trump is maintaining a firm focus on reopening, but was forced to cancel one of his own events today. A rally is scheduled for tomorrow. It will be postponed for safety reasons. The campaign concerned not about coronavirus, but a tropical storm. The delay... By 
outside announcement that the president would be commuting the sentence of ally Roger Stone. The former campaign advisor was just days out from reporting to a federal prison to serve a 40-month term for obstructing a congressional investigation into the Trump 2016 campaign. Johnny Depp has fired a fresh volley at his ex-wife as their legal battle takes another sour turn. The actor claims all hell would break loose. Depp meeting testing. I can only hope that karma kicks in and takes the gift of breath away from her. He also believed Heard was having an affair with Tesla founder Elon Musk and said he wanted to cut off the tech boss's genitals. But he maintains he's never hit a woman, as Heard is claiming she is set to give evidence next week. Across the Atlantic, another high-profile legal battle was playing out. Ghislaine Maxwell, the former girlfriend of pedophile Jeffrey Epstein, applied for bail in a Manhattan courthouse overnight. Her request will be furiously contested by prosecutors who claim Ms Maxwell is an extreme flight risk. The 58-year-old is accused of luring underage girls for Epstein to sexually abuse. She'll face court again next week. Dame Vera Lynn, the legendary performer who gave hope to thousands during World War II, has been remembered at a funeral in England. Two Spitfires flew over the funeral procession as it left her home, while hundreds lined the streets to pay their respects. She was known as the force's sweetheart because of her performances on the front line. She died last month, aged 103. Sport is next with Matt Shevington. And Matt, we had a thriller in the AFL this afternoon. Didn't we? What? It was a brilliant game. Wait till you see the highlights in the AFL. We'll take a closer look at Fremantle's come from behind win against the Saints. Plus, a wrecked Ricardo limps away, mostly unscathed in Austria. And Latrell Mitchell to be sidelined for this. We'll tell you for how long next. Peter Falconio shot by a gunman who attempted to abduct his girlfriend, Joanne Lee. They found the killer. He was the murderer. Or did they? The murder you thought was solved. 34 inconsistencies. It's what you don't know that will shock the world. No one doubts me. I couldn't believe this had never seen the light of day. The event that will make world headlines. We are going to be very unpopular. Murder in the Outback, tomorrow on 7. If you've been injured and can't work, your normal life and income can suddenly stop. Check if you have an insurance claim through your super online in minutes so you can start again. With Slater and Gordon, tomorrow starts today. Oh, wow. I thought you were dead. Oh. I promised my manager I wouldn't get into any more trouble. Do the opposite of that. I had no idea we'd be trying to escape from the cops. I don't have my driver's license. What was that? I think it was Harvey Weinstein. You threw a deadly snake at a fifth grade teacher, <laughs> attempted to beat up two children, and knocked out a nun. Just try and behave. I'll try. Hi, Peter. What can I get you? Um, just some beef mince, please. Just some beef mince. Tell me, was Bradman just a cricketer, Peter? Tom Bradman was a great... I hear you, Bill. Did Kate just do a spot of telly? Oh. And I suppose your mum, Denise, makes just a bolognese. Peter, mum. OK. I'll have some beef mince, please. Great choice. Because... Our beef's the greatest meat Save 20% on your second policy when you buy new, eligible Suncorp home and car insurance together before July 31st. Helping you save when you need it most. That's the Suncorp spirit. Macca's new cheesy burgers are your favourites, only cheesier. A golden mozzarella patty with 100% Aussie beef or chicken. And mozzarella sticks are back. Macca's new cheesy range, only for a limited time. Discover new details about your family history with Ancestry. Simply type in a name and let Ancestry guide you on a journey of discovery. Start searching for free at ancestry.com.au. 
Welcome back. Fremantle have stunned a shell shocks and killed her by six points in the AFL this afternoon. The Saints jumped out of the blocks with the highest opening quarter score since the footy restart to lead by six goals. But it took a turn for the worse when Ben Long bumped Sean Darcy and he's facing a few weeks suspension and the Dockers surged home to record back-to-back -back wins. Quick snap out of the pack. It's good. Fremantle have got another one. The Cats and Magpies have flown from Sydney this afternoon and landed in Perth. Hawks forward Jonathan Patton broke down in tears after injuring his hamstring in last night's loss to Collingwood. The Panthers are on top of the NRL and there was one very special debut today. Prime Minister Scott Morrison watched his Sharks fall 26-0 behind in 26 minutes at Cogra this afternoon. 19-year-old Charlie Staines was revelling. Here is Staines. Oh. How much speed does he have? That's oh, all Dugan. A ball back on the inside. How good is the kid? The Sharks got two tries back but lost several players, including Andrew Fafita with a hamstring. The Panthers turned it on for a 50 to 24 win. Staines scored an incredible four tries on debut, and his mates absolutely loved it. Well, Josh Reynolds and Latrell Mitchell are both facing up to three weeks out of the game. A stray Reynolds kick hit Campbell Graham, so Latrell clocked him with a swinging arm in retaliation. Everyone gets off and away we go and play footy. Mitchell did get off with a fine for a high tackle that sparked another run in with Reynolds. They hugged and made up at full time. The Rabbitohs won 18 with Dane Gagai's first NRL hat-trick. The Titans come from behind 12-0 down to defeat the Warriors 16-12 on the Gold Coast. Was a good one too. Well, the Reds and the Rebels couldn't be separated in Super Rugby's first Golden Point match. Melbourne moved their home game to Brookvale Oval in Sydney and led Queensland 18-8 before a late Reds comeback sent the contest into extra time. Bryce Hegarty fell short with a long-range penalty goal, so they share the points. Yeah, a bit of a weird one, really. You sort of, uh, yeah, you sort of half happy, half not happy. The Western Force return against the Waratahs at the SCG tonight. It was a rough day in practice at the Styrian Grand Prix in Austria for Daniel Ricciardo, who spun yeah, out and smashed hard in into a tyre barrier. The session. Ricardo limped away with just a bruised knee. He's been cleared to continue in the second race of the rebooted F1 season. And Ange, according to Daniel Ricardo, it was his mistake. Doesn't happen often. And the bosses at Renault are very happy it doesn't very happen good. often. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, thanks so much, Shadow. Unless you qualify for an exemption, free COVID childcare comes to an end Monday and industry experts say it could lead to bigger problems. Mass dropouts are expected with centre owners worried what impact it will have on their businesses, children and their parents. Serena Andaloro reports. Well, Ange, free childcare was introduced back in April to help struggling families to help them get back to work and keep providers afloat. But from Monday, parents will have to pay a our staff have worked so hard to remain uh, working and to try and stay safe and to uh, look after the children, uh, yet we're the ones who lose uh, all these benefits first. The pre-COVID childcare subsidy will return and how much your fees are subsidised going forward will depend on a few things like income, work hours and how much you pay. Families whose jobs have been impacted by COVID-19 can apply for up to 100 hours a fortnight of subsidised care until October. We don't actually know what's going to happen on Monday in terms of who continues to attend, who can afford to attend. Some COVID affected families can also apply for additional financial support which covers the whole cost for 13 weeks. But the Child Care Alliance argues the child care subsidy is outdated and won't help families through a recession. Still to come in 7 News, I'll have all your Sunday weather details right around the country. The odds are stacked against him. We have a final chase and a half. It's four to one. This day's getting very long for me with the full house. But Goliath is going to fight to the very end. This chase will go right down to the wire.
New The Chase, weekdays at 5 on 7. Time for a little break? Head to Macca's and get four of your favourite classic burgers in our new McBurger box for just $16.95. Or warm up with our range of hot and tasty pies for just $1.50 each. I'd just seen the need for foster carers. I just felt that I had quite a lot to give, not only a house, but the love and the support to make a difference. Authorised by the Queensland Government, Brisbane. Bed Match at 40 Winks takes the confusion out of buying a bed. And right now, get any size mattress for the price of a single. That's a queen, king or super king mattress for the price of a single. But hurry, limited time only. 40 Winks, serious about sleep. Chloe and Zoe are twins and Amy customers. So you have the same taste. We love our HD LED, LED LCD 4K Pixel, Pixel TVs. TV. Oh, and Barney and Rubble love the, the dog, dog channel. Do you choose to save now or later on your insurance? Now. Later. Buy a home or car insurance policy and Amy Flexi Premiums lets you vary your excess to save now or later. Choose a higher excess to save now or choose a lower excess to save at claim time. You're with Amy. A lot has changed in 15 years, but our low admin fees haven't. Add our strong long-term returns and that equals more super for you. Host Plus. Wherever life takes you, we go with you. We're working on something bigger than we've ever done before. It's bigger than this. And this. And even this. We're creating over 200,000 jobs by investing in Australia. That'll help get our super and the economy growing again. And if you're with one of these, you're a big part of it. It's time to check the weather now. A low and cold front crossing southern South Australia, western and southern New South Wales, Victoria and Tasmania is generating showers and storms. A trough over southern Queensland and eastern New South Wales is triggering showers. Onshore winds are bringing showers to eastern Queensland. Around the capitals tomorrow, 24 and rainy in Brisbane, showers in Sydney and Canberra. Some rain in Melbourne and Hobart, showers and a top of 14 in Adelaide. Fine in Perth with a top of 21 and a warm 33 and sunny in Darwin. A lucky Victorian is $80 million richer and as far as Powerball officials are aware, they don't even know it yet. Two days on from one of the largest lottery jackpots of the year, nobody has come forward to claim their winnings. But we are learning more about the person who won. They live in Dramana on the Mornington Peninsula outside of Melbourne. However, they aren't registered, so Powerball has no way of contacting them to deliver the life-changing news. Check your tickets. And that is 7 News for now. Our next bulletin is 7 News at 6. I'm Angela Cox. Thanks so much for your company. Have a great night.